talking copper here with AW1 listed on the AXX. And Dave, as Tesla has recently gone into the lithium refinery space, I was wondering, are they also going to go into the copper space with all their supercharger, massive demand for the copper wiring? Is that an option? Potentially. I mean, uh, I, I wouldn't want to speak for Tesla <laughs> being the company they are, but certainly we are seeing a lot more activity from end users and, and, and um, OEMs, etc. cetera, um, being more proactive in securing product. So that might not mean necessarily refining the material, but certainly going beyond the, the metal traders, etc., cetera, and, and refining the, the material themselves. We know things are becoming short in, in the world and and um, the demand's growing, so why wouldn't they, you know? All right, quick follow-up question for that one, uh, Dave. So Arne and I have heard the term battery-grade copper quite a bit. And now my question for you is, uh, like in some other materials, are there different types of copper or is copper just copper in the end of the day? End of the day, copper is copper as it comes out of the ground. Um, it depends on the processing step to get it to the smelting, which is the very high purity, 99. I can't remember the exact percentage, but for example, Traditional concentrates out of a normal sulfide ore body would, would come out 30 to 35% copper. Um, we're lucky the material we have in the ground as it stands is 80% pure copper in its pure form, but we sort of can upgrade that from a 2 to 4% to a 50% copper. So there's advantages of having um, you know a, a higher quality product that's in the ground. 